Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Shem, El Shai, Bar Shem, Harakar, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole four let. This is Pai, I love the gym, it's London Camp, and this is News and Prophecy, Prophecy and News. I got an article here from writers.com, and the title reads Moon Wobble, Climate Change, Seen as, a drive, as Driving Coastal Flooding in 2030s. So it says, so let's read into it. So it says, um, U.S. coastlines will face increasing flooding in mid 2030s, thanks to a regular lunar cycle that will magnify rising sea levels caused by this guy's a devil, man. Caused by climate change, according to research led by NASA scientists. All right. So that's is all BS. Cause um, I don't want to get too technical with it. I'm try to simplify my point as, as simple as possible. But um basically this is something that's going on right now. Right, the sea levels are high. You got issues with um droughts in certain places and a lot of so called natural natural disasters which are prophecies in the Bible, all right. But what Esau's doing is he's trying to put a name on it. He's trying to um kill that this you know, dull the severity of the situation right now by putting it to a greater level to say it's gonna increase into the mid twenty thirties. So he's saying in the next not this decade, but the decade afterwards is when it's going to get crazy. When in reality, it's crazy now, all right? The reality is it's very crazy. And what you have is a lot of people have news fatigue, all right? Whereby they don't want to listen to the news no more, all right? They're sick and tired of hearing it. And even even if they do listen to the news, they're, they're, they have a news bias. So they're only listening to one news platform. And they you know dimming their lens according to their political views, all right? So it says, a key factor identified by scientists is a regular wobble in the moon's orbit, first identified in eight, the 18th century, that takes 18.6 years to complete. The moon's gravitational pull helps drive Earth's tides, all right? And the reality is, this is the reality. the book of Genesis 1 and 14 and it reads and the Moses and the powers said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from night right you already had day and night because the light and darkness was separated on the first day all right just make sure I'm correct yeah but then what you had happen is you had signs in the heavens okay Lights in a firmament, basically, to divide, to be a sign onto those that night and day. All right, as we read, you're going to see it. So it says, and let them be for signs. So that's the reason why they were created. Yeah, there was already light and darkness. All right. But guess what? These these lights in the firmament are for what? Signs and for seasons and for days and for years. All right. And let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so, and he also gives light upon the earth, like the sun gives light upon the earth, as well as the moon gives light upon the earth. All right. Remember it was four signs, right? So this is one of the signs in the moon. So that's Joel 2 and 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh, come. All right. 
And the other thing to remember is you have a thing, it mentioned the lunar cycle. Cycle. That's also where you get the word lunatic because when the, the, the moon is actually closer, that is what, as they said, it, you know, they mentioned about it driving the tides and whatnot. Yeah, it has an adverse effect. Basically, the moon has an adverse effect on water, right? And 70% of your body is water. That's why you have the term lunatic. And it, it you know, old, throughout the course of history, before this modern era, it was well known that when the moon was at its biggest state, that you had certain people prone to lunacy or becoming lunatic because of the war, the, the moon having an adverse effect on their being. All right, so let me read this again. So it says, in the cycles of um, other half, the situation is reversed. The high tides higher and low tides lower. Oh, I missed a lot. In, in half of this lunar cycle, Earth's regular daily tides are diminished and high tides lower than usual and low tides higher than usual. And all this, just, this in my personal opinion, is just Esau just trying to make all these different things happening seem like they're not as big as what they really are. When really, these are signs in the heaven. All right? That's actually the other scripture I was looking for. So there's Luke 21 and 10. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, meaning disease. All right, that's what's going on right now. We're in the midst of what a pandemic, in the year twenty twenty one, the year of hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, and fearful sights and great signs shall it be from heaven. This is a great sign. All right, they're trying to say that it's just oh the flooding. I didn't even realize until I was on the plantation. And I had to go certain places. It only dawned on me that there was a lot of places that actually flooded this this past week or so. It, I actually missed the news. I, I, I didn't even realise that the, the heavy rain actually caused flooding in other parts of London. All right? Until I was actually present in those parts. And I realised, oh, there's been major flooding. All right? To the point where it's damaged businesses. It's had a great effect on, on people's lives. All right? So that's that's all this has a part to play. And the places where the flooding took place, <laughs> they have nothing to do with flooding. Like, flooding is, is not a thing. And even, like I said before, there was a tornado in bloody East London. Like, ridiculous. Like, that, that doesn't happen, right? When you actually weigh up the signs that are happening, you know that... These times are very peculiar times, man. It's a time of the end, right? Or the beginning of the end, as it says. Um, this, this is scripture just to read to the point. Verse 9, it says, But when you shall, Luke 21 and 9, But when you shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. It's not by and by, all right? So all these things are the beginning of, of the, the, the troubles, man, all right? This is, this is the gates of it all. But as I said, I believe in my personal opinion, this is why I'm doing this, this video. This is really Esau showing his deception. And the reason why I'm doing it as a news and prophecy, all right? You know, this is, you know, watch the Lord instructed us to watch as well as pray, as pray. Measure the time diligently, all right? And you measure the time by what? Looking at the scriptures, the prophecies, the testimony of how was shy, being the spirit of prophecy, and you weigh it up with the current effects, events taking place in the news. And in, in doing so, what we're finding is we're in the end, the time of the end. So it says the expected flooding will result, uh, will result from the combination of continuous sea level rise associated with climate change, which should be us. All right, what is climate change rubbish? All right, but the main point is this is a curse that's going up upon the earth, man. All right, the Lord has cursed the earth. All right, Ooh. all right. 
So let me read this. This is Isaiah 24 and 4. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. Fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. That's dealing with Esau, Edom, or as he's known today, the so-called white man, Iraq, the, the wicked banking elite. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, Iraq, because they have transgressed the laws. This is the reason why it's happening. The laws of the Heavenly Father are being transgressed. When someone may say, what? Because because I'm stealing, I'm going against the laws of the Heavenly Father. Hell yeah, you are. But then more so, you know the other thing as well? More so, you know the other thing as well? The other thing you got to remember as well is that... Um, what you're also doing is... um. <laughs> what you're also doing is um duh, 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 duh. the earth also is defiled under the habits thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, because you're stealing, you've broken the laws. But then also, way to the ways that pertain onto the land is like what? What pertains onto the land? That of um, what's this thing called? Um, the land Sabbath, all right. That's actually had an adverse... These things in the law, you think that they're just writ there in some hocus-pocus. No, they actually have... If they're not seen to, they will have an effect upon the quality of life upon the earth. All right? And this is why these things are happening. Let me read on. Change the ordinance. All right? How do you know the ordinance? By the sun, moon, and the stars. All right? They're known for signs and seasons. All right? Broken everlasting covenant. And the ordinance, obviously, is, is is really ultimately the commandments. Verse 6, now this is the point. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. All right, and ultimately that's going to come in the, in the shape of the missiles. But these are chronic um, issues that are playing out upon the earth, such as flooding and things of that nature, and heat waves in bloody Canada, blizzards in Texas, all these things, tornadoes in areas, not even in the tornado season as well, right? In a place that doesn't have a tornado season. These things are all happening. Flash floods in areas that are not prone to flash flooding, all right? All this is the curses of the Heavenly Father, all right? So says, it, um, the expected flooding will result from the uh, combination from the combination of continuous sea level rise associated with climate change and the arrival of am an amplification part of the lunar cycle in the mid 2030s as re the researcher said so this man pulling this out of his ass and just saying yeah and to you know 15 years from now about 15 years from now it's going to be crazy when it's really crazy now but it's what what will it do or desensitize the minds of the people that oh yes yeah, it's, it's building up it's culminating to the point of 2030 when there ain't no 2030 for you to be sitting there thinking that you got that time, all right? But it's the deception of the devil, all right? In the background, we have long-term sea level rise associated with global warming. It's causing sea level to increase everywhere. Ben Hamilton, NASA team leader, and one of the studies authors tell Reuters, uh, told Reuters, and this is the other point, this now makes you what do what? buy more into the system okay so you basically adhere to anything they say because they're saying look because you're not doing what we're saying this is what's happening on the earth all right and then people say oh lord i don't want this to happen so they do whatever they say okay so it says this uh, this effect for the moon causes the tides to vary so that we found it, so what we found is that this effect lines up with the underlying sea level issue sea rise and that will cause flooding specifically in the time period of 2030 so demand some bs pulled out of his ass all right but um let me read this let me read a couple of scriptures and close out Book of Revelation 21, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, and he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, 
which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him in a bottomless pit, and shut him, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after he shall, he must be loose a little season. Alright, so he's been loosed a little season to deceive the nations. And this is part of his deception, to make you think that all this is happening is just a natural state of affairs, just to pour maintenance on the earth, which is a total lie. Alright? That's there. It is poor maintenance on the earth, but under but under what terms? All right, because that's the main that's the main um issue. All right, no, I'm gonna wrap it up on that. So Lord willing, you edify for the next one. Say shalom, shalom, shalom.